Hello you. Welcome to a special Halloween episode. I have always been drawn to the strange and mysterious. Be it being fascinated by Vikram Betal as a kid or being spellbound by the stories of Bhut Chaturdashi and All Hallows Eve. So this year for these occasions, I decided to take a little break from crafting and instead stage shoot and DIY a fascinatingly spooky portrait. Before I get started with the staging process, I'll first need to ready some props. I'm just hand painting a few things to avoid a trip to the store. And by the looks of this balloon, you might be able to guess where I'm going with this. I've lately been binge watching this CBS show called Ghosts and I really wanted to recreate this 3D effect where you can see the ghosts almost jumping out of their photo frames. But since I don't have any professional level equipment or software, I'm going a little DIY on this photo shoot, starting with the very staging process. One important hack that I learned from YouTuber Christine McConnell was marking the tripod's position on the floor with tape. This way, if by any chance you move your tripod, you'll always be able to put it back in place without messing up with your frame. By the way, don't forget to check out my DIY Diwali video. Now that it's dark outside, we'll move on to the lighting phase. If you're planning to take a composite photograph, meaning you'll be creating one photo by combining multiple images, it's crucial to ensure that the lighting for all the different images stay the same. This is easier to do when you're shooting at night, but in case you have to do a shoot during the daytime, it's best to cover up all the surfaces that's going to let in the changing daylight. A good spooky portrait also needs good backlighting, for which you can either Frankenstein some strong string lights or the bulbs on your vanity like I did. Once the vanity lights were secured against the back of the sofa, I turned them to white mode and covered them with blue cellophane paper. It's now time to start the photo shoot. Now that all the photos are ready, it's time for my favorite part of this process, which is editing. The best free photo editing tool, in my opinion, is Pixlr. For this particular composite image, I'll go to Pixlr E and select a master image first, which will be the base on which I'll compile all the layers. Once my base is selected, I'll download some PNGs of ornate photo frames from Pixabay and add them to the master image in separate layers. Just to make them look as natural as possible at this point, I'll just shift the color and brightness levels accordingly. I'll repeat the same process to add different backgrounds to each of the frames, while also adding a bit of shadow to the frames because um, I want them to have a 3D effect. I'll show you how I do that in a bit. Then I'll add each of the characters in different layers and use a mix of the wand tool and the cutout tool 
to get rid of the background and just fine tune the outline all over. To add the 3D effect, I'll create shadows for each of the characters as well so that it looks like they are jumping out of the photo frames. Now there's a very easy way to do that. Just duplicate the object in question, manipulate the brightness and contrast levels, reduce the opacity to a certain extent and place it right behind the object at an angle opposite to the source of the light. Now for Samara's ghost. I want the shadow to appear in such a way that it seems like she's actually climbing out of the TV, like in the movie. So what I'll do is I'll distort the shadow a little bit here using the free distort tool under edit. Once you have incorporated all the necessary layers, it comes down to fine tuning each element of the picture to make it look as real and as seamless as you want it to be. And in case you want to remove something from your picture, the clone stamp tool can be your real friend. I find it best to hold off all color corrections till the very end because that helps me ensure that the final image has uniform lighting. Once I'm happy with all the layers, I'll just go ahead and color correct till cows come home. Ready? Here they come. Thank you for joining us today. Happy Halloween.